Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. And today we're going to be helping you generate content for an outdoor YouTube channel. Now, on this video, we're gonna be talking about marketing, SEO, making money, and gear, and tech. Now, I really do mean we, because it's not just me. This is part of a larger collaborative project between multiple channels with the goal of helping you generate that content if you are interested in starting an outdoor YouTube channel or if you're already running one, you're relatively new to it and trying to build up a repertoire or just trying to get a little bit better at it. There's going to be two other videos of this and you'll be able to find it on the channels The Last Grown Up in the Woods by Carly and The Backpacker Diaries by Amos. In that, you'll be able to learn tips for great content and general channel management. Now, in these videos, you're not going to be just hearing from us. You're also going to be hearing from other YouTube channels that we've reached out to. Um, you're going to be hearing from a lot of other YouTube creators. Uh, in this specific video, you're going to be hearing from myself. You're going to be hearing from Carly from The Last Grown Up in the Woods. You're going to be hearing from Amos from The Backpacker, Backpacker Diaries. But you're also going to be hearing from Will from, back, from Happily Ever Outdoors. Um, Sean McCall and Adventure Archives as well. Um, so we've all been putting in a little bit of content and it's gonna be pretty awesome. And in order to get to the other videos, they will be at the end card at the end. Um, but I also will try and put a playlist up here in the cards. Um, description in the description I'll put some links and in the link I will also put a uh, link to all the channel to all the contributors who have contributed to this project and everyone I want to thank for contributing to it but anyways enough talking about this let's get to why you're here let's hear from everyone that's contributed let's get going Hi, I'm Carly from The Last Run Up in the Woods, and I want to give you a few pointers on getting discounted or free gear, even when you're pretty small. Um, a lot of companies, especially larger companies, have a pro deal program. So um, you can just Google, say, like MSR pro deal, and um, they'll have a form for you to fill out. You say what you do, maybe provide a link to your YouTube channel, and they'll get back to you, and uh, um, you can possibly get about a 30 to 50% discount. If a company doesn't already have that set up, you can email them and ask them about it. Smaller companies are often very happy to um, give give discounts and even free gear. So in your email, you can say something like um, you're willing to do a review or an introduction to their product in exchange for a free, uh, free product. Make sure you focus on how it will benefit them. And you can also mention that you're okay with demos or cosmetic seconds because sometimes they kind of have a pile of those and they're not sure what to do with them. And we love free stuff. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it's slightly used. So a dollar saved is two dollars earned if you're smart with that saved money. However, it's not really a dollar saved if you're getting discounted gear on gear you wouldn't have purchased anyway. So my advice would be to be careful. Um, and wait until you really want a product and you know you've, you've done your research and then contact the company. Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman and I want to talk to you guys about the Amazon Affiliate Link System. Now, it's a great system, it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money from your YouTube channel, but it's somewhat of a double-edged sword. You gotta spend a little bit of money, you gotta spend some money to make money with it. In order to keep it running, you gotta have a website. And that website has to have content on it, even if it's just some basic ones. So, the issue is, you gotta be make, bringing in enough money from Amazon Affiliate, and possibly even Google AdSense, to be paying for that website. So, you may even still be going into the negatives if you're trying to be making money through Amazon Affiliates. So, think twice before you go into Amazon Affiliates, but it's still a good system. It's still a good way of making a little bit of money. Just think about it before you do it. Anyways, see you later. 
Hi, I'm Carly from The Last Grown Up in the Woods, and I would like to suggest using TubeBuddy. It's a great tool for um, finding just the right tags and making suggestions for titles and um, just kind of uh, analyzing the analytics, I guess you could say. Um, you can do a free trial that lasts for about a week, and you can use that time to actually go through all of your videos and optimize them, and then you can decide if you want to continue using it. Um, so it's a great tool. Link is in the description. Hey folks, Will here with Happily Ever Outdoors. So I've had some folks ask me if you can really effectively build a YouTube channel with your smartphone, and the answer is yes. Smartphone cameras and editing software has come a long way, so they're powerful, they're portable for filming and editing, and just about everybody already has one. You're gonna to wanna to have a large standard size tripod. You're also gonna want a mini tripod. Of course, you're gonna need some kind of a mount to hold your phone on that tripod. Some of the inexpensive, flexible mini tripods come with a plastic mount, but I would recommend, as soon as you can, investing in a better quality, adjustable metal one. Once you've got all this set and you've already got your YouTube channel going, the next thing I would recommend investing in is a good external microphone. One great microphone for outdoor videos from a well-known brand is the Rode Video Mic Go, which is what I'm actually using for this video. Now, if you wanna edit your videos on the go, iMovie is gonna handle all of your basic stuff, no problem. So that's a great free way to get started if you have an iPhone. Another application that's great, but it actually costs about $40 a year to subscribe, is Kinemaster. And that's what I use on a lot of my videos. It allows you to do a bunch of extra effects, do video layering, and a lot of cool stuff like that that you can't do in iMovie. All right, guys, I hope this video showed you that you don't necessarily need a bunch of expensive camera equipment to get started filming on YouTube. Until next time, stay happy and stay outdoors. Hi, my name is Nate, and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman, and I want to talk to you guys about cameras. You don't need to go out and buy the latest and greatest cameras like your favorite YouTubers. You don't need to have a DSLR camera. Later down the line, you can invest in one like I did, but start with the camera you have. Cell phones, they are really good and they can rival some of the cameras on the market. But if you really do need to buy a camera, feel free to look at buying cameras that have a flip around screen and have a microphone jack. GoPros also do make good options, but at the same time, their audio may not be up to snuff and you can't always plug a microphone jack into them and keep them waterproof, but they are also cheap 4K cameras but they're a little bit more expensive. Anyways, see you guys. Hi, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. And I wanna to talk to you guys about filming by yourself. Sure, you may have friends who occasionally come out with you, but one thing you really do wanna get used to is filming by yourself. If you have a flip around screen, it can be really easy. Just turn around that screen, stand in front of it, maybe wave around your arms, do a little bit of a dance. It'll help you get an idea of where you are on camera. However, if you do not have a flip around screen, if you're using a phone or something, what you can do is pick a point on um, either on a tree or use a hat and put it on a large stick or something um, and figure out where you are, where you need to stand. The other thing you can do is press record, treat it like a flip around screen, stand in front of it, do a little dance or whatever, and go back and adjust from there. Hello, this is Amos with Backpacker Diaries with an editing tip first pioneered by Mr. Burns. No, not that Mr. Burns, Mr. Ken Burns, who uses a pan and zoom strategy with still images. As YouTube creators, we can actually apply this concept to videos, adding a sort of digital zoom effect. It goes by different terms depending upon the editing software that you're using. Here's what it looks like in iMovie. Using this clip of video from a recent project, let's say we want to zoom out from the fungus on the right side of the frame there. We can first click on the cropping icon and then click on Ken Burns and adjust the dimensions of the frame however we like. To zoom out from the fungus, we're gonna to need to switch around the start and end frame. And to flip that around, we're just gonna to need to click on the button with the two arrows. That will flip the start frame and end frame around for us. And with that, we can see what it looks like zooming out from the fungus. The Ken Burns effect can be used to accentuate map animation as well.
In this example, I have previously set up the end frame and start frame where I want the zoom to begin and end. And from there, I've elongated that clip and then broken it up into three pieces. In the first piece, I crop to fill on that start frame. In the second piece, I'll let it zoom in on the map as originally specified. And in the third piece, I'll again press the button with those arrows to flip the start and end frame and then crop to fill on the new start frame to create the zoom effect. Hi everybody, it's Sean here and filming outdoors usually means filming around the water which can be a little hard on some camera equipment. And so one of the things I use, especially on a budget, is this camera. It's the TG870. It's an Olympus camera. It's an Olympus Tough and it's water resistant up to 50 feet so you can technically even go snorkeling with this and it's perfectly fine. But especially if it's rainy on a trail or you're canoeing and kayaking you don't have to worry about it. On the plus side it also has a flip screen which means you can vlog on it really easily. And its mic is pretty good too and I have a pretty good time taking video and audio together with it without any major issues. And it's a tough camera too, so you can drop it and it survives quite a lot. Now of course if you go completely underwater, a great addition to this is the actual housing that goes along with this. And I use this when I go snorkeling and diving. Um, the combo is about $600, but you can get the camera for a little under $300 pretty easily out there. So these are great additions for vlogging and taking video outdoors in all weather. Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. I want to talk to you guys about file storage. Now, store every video you make. Raw, completed. It's really useful to have all of those backed up somewhere, especially in an external hard drive. You don't know if the video gets removed from YouTube or from a place you put it. If that happens, you still have it backed up somewhere. And also, if you ever decide to use it again, you have it in a file somewhere. And in fact, you now have a catalog of stock footage of your own. And it's all free because you used it. Anyways, catch you guys later. Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Auto Outdoorsman. And I want to talk to you guys about file organization. Now, it's a good idea to organize your files into separate folders. Now, you can either do it by the date you shot it on or by the video you shot it for. Or even better, you can do it for the video you shot it for and then you organize those folders into a folder that is on the day you shot it. That way, you have them all organized and if you ever look up the file, you all you need to do is go to the date you shot it and then look into the day the video you shot it for and you're good to go. Organization will set you free. You'll be good to go. See everyone. In the background. When you're making a video, the most important thing is to be able to see what you're doing and hear what you're saying. Right now I'm right next to the mic so you can actually hear what I'm saying and you can see my face and you can see what I'm doing. You guys keep doing stuff. Well, how many of these only work? <laughs> okay, all of them work. But if you film from back here, you can't see what we're doing, and you can't hear what we're doing. And if you couldn't hear what I just said, I said, if you film from back there, you can't see what we're doing, and you can't hear what we're saying. I hope you learned something from everyone who contributed to the, that. I know I really did when I was editing it. Um, I want to thank everyone who contributed to this. Again, if you want to check someone out below, I'm going to try and post links down below to everyone's channels. Some great YouTubers who contributed to this. Some really awesome people. Um, if you are interested in checking out the other two content, which is tips for great content and general time management, I will be uh, both putting a playlist, but you can also check out Carly from the Last Grown Up in the Woods channel and Amos from the Backpacker's Diary. The, the videos are going to be going up at the exact same time 
um, because we are this is a collaboration between us um, so you can go check those out there's gonna be a lot more tips from similar youtubers um, that were in here uh, we've all been kind of divvying it out so you get some really cool organized information and you get some useful information as well from people who are out there and doing it um, but if you want to get to them I'll put up some end cards to Carly and Amos's channel and I will put up another end card to the um, playlist as well but anyways you just have a good day and remember get out in the woods have some fun and if you have a camera capture some great content whether it's a view or something else. See everyone.